treatments. We have good dish. And uh, first off, I got to tell you, uh, I, I like to spotlight when people are gosh darn nice enough to bring us gifts, whether it's food for the whole staff, like a woman made a, a carrot cake a couple days ago. But this gift that I got from one of our diehard Jason Show watchers, her name is Shell. I've known her for years. She listens to the radio show, and she's just, uh, I love her because she's very devoted, and it means the world to me. And she took the time. She ordered this for me. Y'all know that I love a Steel Magnolias. I love that movie. I directed it. I directed a version of it in high school, and I can mem I, <laughs> I don't know what, what's funny about that, but anyway. So let's do this. Let's uh, let, uh, producer, uh, director Leo. Let's run the clip, and then I'm going to show you. It'll make more sense after I run the clip. Uh, look at this scene from Steel Magnolias. Shelby, Shelby, you need some juice. You need some juice. Stop it! Mom. Drink the juice. Please drink the juice. No! Stop it! Mom. In, in my purse. No, you didn't bring your purse, sweetheart. You didn't bring your purse. No, you didn't. No. You... There we go. Now. Uh, of course, because, you know, Shelby was diabetic in there. One of the first plays to bring uh, attention uh, to diabetes and, and, and the, because it's based on a true story, the, screen, the, the screenwriter, the playwright, his sister, uh, who, that, who Shelby's based on, uh, had diabetes as well. But look at this. Drink your juice, Shelby. Drink your juice. <laughs> Let me just say two things. First, that's a horrible photo of Sally Field. I'm just gonna say, and that's a uh, that's a giant T-shirt. I don't know what Shell's saying about this, but uh, anyway, thank you, Shell, very much. I appreciate it. One more mention. One more mention. Uh, sports page. I don't know why that's here. We'll get rid of that. Uh, but in the in Star Tribune today, we want uh, again. We love spotlighting local businesses, and there's a great local business that's been a good friend to the Jason Show, and it's the ladies of Glamdal Donuts. And they got mentioned uh, today, right down here, as being jewels of Nicollet Avenue, right there of Eat Street. If you haven't been to Glamdal Donuts, let me tell you, you'll sell some relatives to have one of their donuts. They're that good. So congratulations to our ladies there at Glamdal. Yeah, they're good donuts. Okay.